Yes, people, what's good and welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, I just need your advice. Basically, I have been doing the 20% water changes on the Pico and everything was okay. But I realized that, um, you know, there might be some dyno coming into the system. I checked my phosphates or phosphorus and it's absolutely zero, like zero. Now, I'm not really worried about this too much because it did take a while for the dinos to develop. It did take a while for the cyano to grow. Now, when I tested my phosphates in my tank, they were like zero, like none. Nonski could put nothing in there, yeah? So I tested yesterday after dosing this. It's um, ATI um, Nutrition P, and I use this phosphorus for my um, TMC, as you can, uh, you can see behind me. So I use this to keep my um, phosphorus or phosphates where I need them to be. So after testing yesterday, um, the phosphates for the Pico were just registering at 0 0.03, which is cool for that small, you know, small tank. Um, I just wanted you guys to see, um, you know, what the, the tank looks like um, since I've started dosing this. So I don't know if you guys can see this. This is what my sand bed looks like at the moment. Yeah, it's a little, um, it's not really bubbly or anything. It's just stringy. So um, I got a little of blaster moose. Oh, that's a single head of blaster moose here. And this is what it looks like. What I've been doing throughout the day, I've just been using a, um, a turkey baser just to um, blow it off the rock um, and suck it into the, um, the overflow into the filter floss. Yeah. Um, all the corals are opened up they don't seem to be too bothered about it it's just a sand bed now um i did go through this at some point in my last system um during the first six months of um you know setting it up maybe it's the way i um set up reef tanks that causes that maybe i'm overfeeding um i'm not too sure um but it doesn't seem to be you know too bad today um what i realized as well the lighting schedule for the ai prime was way too high um the the whites were on there about 50 percent it was just too strong and even the the gsp refused to open now i did do um a little water change um yesterday just to take out the majority of whatever was in there and it did make a, a bit of difference but i realized this morning when i turned on the white um spectrum when the white spectrum of my light came on this came back yeah but when the blues were on it was fine as soon as the par increased um these guys came back out so i don't know if it's cyano or, or dino guy on there um there's no snotty bits it's just um long and stringy now i know um cyano can do that as well um what i did as well um a couple of days ago i dosed um not dosed i used a bit of um refroids in there just to target feed a couple of corals i don't know if that was the adverse effects of doing that yeah so the plan is to just monitor um the little pico to see if it develops into like a mat or anything on the um sand bed then i can definitely confirm it's it's cyan or then um there's any snot bubbles then it's dino if it is dino what i'm gonna do not do a water change um allow the nutrients to build up even maybe dose no3 and po4 in there just to build up these um beneficial bacteria so it can outcompete um the dino that's if this is dino um if it's so I know just do a couple more water changes and bring the nutrients down um, a bit, maybe um, more water flow in the corner here so that, um, you know, all this can be just brushed away. But I think it's just part of the um, maturing process of this tank, to be honest, because I had the same issue with my bigger tank. And after a couple of weeks, it was fine. So, yeah, just patience. So if you guys have any suggestions um, how I can go around to fix this, just let me know, guys, in the comments below. And um, I'll see you on Friday for um, an update. Thank you.